Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about a treatment that is sometimes utilized for nerve pain or peripheral neuropathy called nerve flossing. Other names for it are nerve glides or nerve stretching. Um, let me give you a little bit of information about what this really is. So nerve flossing is basically a set of exercises that gently mobilize the nerves against a fixed position and is used to get the move, nerves moving and so forth. Normal nerves running down the legs are normally able to move three or four centimeters in and out of the spinal cord. Similarly, the nerves in the arms and the hands are likewise will move quite a bit. If you get scar tissue in those areas, either from surgery or from uh, even from inflammation, you can start to get a restriction and it can actually interfere with the functioning of those nerves and the nerves don't move like they're supposed to. Uh, there's been multiple studies, quite a few studies that have actually been shown that if you can actually improve the motion of those nerves, if you can improve the, uh, reduce the restriction in those nerves that you actually get an improved functioning. So you're going to increase sensory perception. You're going to get greater range of motion. You're going to get a uh, better signal conduction to the muscles. Um, and this can work quite well in a lot of individuals. Um, in fact, in a review of 11 clinical trials, they concluded there was some positive therapeutic benefits to nerve glides or nerve flossing. There's a problem here, though. In some individuals, you can actually make things worse by doing this exact same exercise, the exact same techniques. Um, if the nerve is constricted in such a way that it can't move, you're going to make the peripheral neuropathy or the nerve pain worse by doing these exact same exercises because you're stretching a nerve against a, something that it can't, can't mobilize that nerve. And so you actually irritate or aggravate the problem and can make it significantly worse. Same thing can happen if you over exercise the nerve. So if you're saying, okay, I'm doing nerve flossing, but I do too much, or you do it too aggressively, both cases, you can actually make the nerve worse. Uh, let me give you kind of an example. One of the tests that we actually do for uh, peripheral neuropathy that's associated with the back is we do the single leg raise. And when you do the leg raise, you keep the leg straight and you li lift the leg up, they'll feel stretch on that nerve and it will be painful because they're not getting that motion. So you have to do it correctly. And if you can actually, in those individuals, a lot of times you can find a way to do some of these nerve gliding techniques and still get the motion that you want without aggravating, without making the peripheral neuropathy worse. So what would I tell you if you're saying, okay, should I do nerve flossing or not? It's something you can try. It's something you want to do with direction, with someone that's watching you and making sure you do it correctly so that you don't aggravate or make things worse, but also you only want to do it a couple times. You want to do it very minimally initially and see if it helps because if you do it too much, it's going to make things worse as well. So nerve flossing can be valuable. It can be useful. It can be something that you're going to do, uh, but you want to get do it with direction and with help to make sure it's done right. If you find that it aggravates your peripheral neuropathy at all, then you have one of those conditions where the nerve is not being mobilized with the exercise and it's making it worse. And so I don't recommend it in those cases. This is Dr. Brian Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget Day 281, nerve flossing for peripheral neuropathy. It can be beneficial, although there is a group of individuals where this will just make things worse. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.